If only I could see me as you see me And understand the way that I am loved Would it give a whole new meaning to my purpose? Change the way I see the world Hey everyone, it's Holland here And I am gonna do a little uh, question answer thing about something that was kind of presented uh, which is an interesting question and the question was what advice would I give my teenage self? Man! I would say um, first of all uh, my name is Holland Reed and I'm an actress, a photographer, and a host, an aspiring director. Um, I want to do it all and I'm finally at a place in my life where I feel like I'm just gonna try it and if it works um, it does it does and if it doesn't it doesn't and I think that's the first piece of advice um, that I would give my teenage self and I think the first thing is is that um, don't worry about what people think you're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea you know you're not gonna have the right look the right hair the right voice I'm loud and raspy and that's not made for everybody to like um, I'm a bit corny that's not made for everybody and um, that's just life, you know, and not everything's not made for everybody, and, and that's the reason why we're all different, which is what makes this world interesting. So the first thing I would tell myself is don't overthink being true to yourself, just be. So um, the second thing I would tell myself, my teenage self, um, <laughs> I, I would say I would tell myself that boys are not that serious at 16. They're not gonna be your husband, most likely. It, you know, whatever, there's so much more life to live and life ahead of you. 16, you, you're, not, you're not even figuring out who you are. I, you're not even figuring out who you are in your 20s. You're still figuring things out. So take your time. Enjoy life. Sure, you know, date, maybe experience your first kiss. But just don't put all of that, put, put all of yourself into that. Because um, you're going to continuously change and not recognize yourself year after year after year as long as you keep growing. Um, which I guess is the other thing that I would tell myself is never stop learning and never stop growing and don't be afraid to change because change is good. I mean, well, positive change is good and sometimes bad change is a learning experience. So don't be afraid to change and to always grow and get better. And I guess um, really to sum it all up is, is just to be brave. I, I, re I regret a lot of things um, that I didn't do because I guess you, you get scared. You get scared to finish things. You get scared about what people think. Don't be scared to reach out and, you know, go after what you want because even if you fail at it, even if it sucks, whether it's a test, whether it's a film or a dance recital, whatever, if an audition, a tryout, you, you did it. And you can say that you did it, you can say that you tried, and then, then you can decide do I want to continue or do I not? But always finish something. Never be afraid to finish something. Always be brave to finish something. So thanks for listening, guys, and I wish you all the best luck. The truth about me.